Hello everyone, this is Hemin Yang from Learn to Share. Today's video will be about an overview of AP Studio Art. AP Studio Art offers highly motivated high school students the chance to obtain college credit in drawing. Each stu student will compile a portfolio that exhibits a high level of quality and development through time of content technique and process via studio practice, application of design concepts, and wise decision making. Uh, AP Studio Art will be a process of making a portfolio to submit in the college board. So, which means that instead of taking an exam for the AP credit, you will need to submit your portfolio to the college board. There are three types of AP art courses. First, there are 2D, 3D, and drawing. They need to, for 2D, students will demonstrate a thorough understanding of the elements of art and principles of design through an, through an investigative experimentation of ideas, materials, and like processes using electronic media in conjunction with in various ways. You can do any of thing what you want, such as like painting, drawing, digital images, printmaking, collage collage photography or anything just it just need to be 2d same as 2d but 3d will be a expressing on three-dimensional artwork you can just think that it is a concept and skills emphasized within college art and design 3d foundation courses it is not just limited to ceramics it can be a illustration installation, jewelry, sculpture, mixed media, fiber arts, digital design or design work, anything, but it just need to be uh, expressed in three-dimensional artwork. Last one is drawing. Students should consider marks that can be used to make drawings, the arrangements of marks, the materials and processes used to make marks and relationship of marks and ideas. It can be drawing, uh, analog and digital both painting printmaking and mixed media work are possible possible all possible for submission also still images from videos or film are accepted so most of people are pretty um confused with difference between 2d and drawing 2d you can just think that 2d is focused and applied on the design itself instead of composition of the artwork so drawing will should be a little more focused on the composition and the shape and the line a little more the skills of drawing and 2d will be more with ideas and well maybe more abstract kind of like that and there are two parts of the ap art portfolio you have to know this one is sustained investigation and another one is selected works. Sustained investigation will be 15 digital images of art, of works of art and process document documentation. It doesn't have to be 15 uh, completed art, high quality of artwork. You can submit some of your process of getting that uh, high quality artwork. You have to describe how your sustained Sustained investigation shows evidence of your practice, experimentation, and revision guided by your questions. And you need to submit as selected works. Uh, selected work will be a five physical works or high quality printed reproductions of physical works. So you should you have to pick five high quality printed uh, high quality artworks what you want to submit as selected works. So from your 15 images you can pick five of them from it you will require some writing for each uh, for sustained investigation for each images you need to write about materials processes size and for five uh, and for selected works you need to write ideas visually evidently materials you use and processes and for your sustained investigation you should make your own guiding question, which will be your topic. It can be anything what you want. You, um, for example, uh, what if what if the objects were an animal? It's kind of like that. Just you can use anything, any idea that what you wanna do as a topic. Lastly, uh, to 
the main thing that AP Art exam focus is looking at the students in Korea. You have to develop your own personal voice. Um, you have to achieve mastery of concepts, composition, execution, very smart art mediums, and themes, concepts, all of things. You have to understand creating and developing art in ongoing activity involving personal decision making, which means that is the reason why you have to require to put your process of your artworks. Also, it really, really, uh, because they really look at that, how your topic investigation can show in a whole artwork that you have to show the consistency in your artwork with your guiding question. That is the main thing you have to remember. This is everything that I got for today. This is the main overview of APCD art. Thank you so much for watching my video. This was Hemin Yang from Learn to Share.